Rap, rap is out of control. Big B Lou. Yes, sir, my brother. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Can't complain, brother. Can't complain. Yeah, yeah. So for those that don't know, all of our young listeners out there, my man Break B. Lou has been doing this for a minute and is, is one of the co-founders of the Ultimate Breaks and Beats series, which is the, the backbone, the Bible of what hip-hop uh, started on. It, was, it all started with the records, with the breaks, with two records, two turntables, and those breaks became turned into production, into beats, and people rhymed on them, and the rest, as they say, is it's history. history. It's, it's crazy how, like, just listening to stuff, like, you know, we played the Ray, uh, Raekwon with Ghostface joining, that's substitution. substitution. It's just like, yeah. it's, it's just embedded in your mind. The substitution is on five... Yeah. Uh, five, no, 504. 504. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's the blue, the light blue yeah, label yeah, one. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's uh, all these, a lot of these, these records from back in the day um, stemmed from the Ultimate Breaks and Beat series. Uh, and, and Lou, it was you and Lenny. Was anyone else involved yeah. besides nah, you and Lenny? Just Lenny and myself. Okay. That's all that was involved. I mean, we used to get together like every Sunday uh, back in 1984 uh-huh. to put all these records together. And then we had the final list in 1985. And we started releasing them in 1986. So wow. they were just so you had the list of everything before you even started. Everything was wow. done solidified by 1984. Okay. So that's why there was always rumors that you know that we were hooking a Marley or we were hooking, <laughs> it had nothing to do with that. We just we we had these records again. I mean, right. I've been digging since '78. So right. Like, and and Lenny was a, a guy that was uh, also a connoisseur, hanging out at Bronx River. So yeah, all the records we had, it was the thing that took us the delay. Uh, situation was that you know one trying to find the, the perfect copies to, sure. to do and also economics you know yeah of course records in those days you know now you put a record out you can just put it digitally yeah everything back in the days before you put anything out was at least a gg and a yeah, half before of course. you went into pressing so of course. it was just crazy in the time. no doubt yeah. we're right up and shout out to uh, dj easy lee he's the one that actually put me up on um on the breaks because i, oh, I touches three easy yeah. Lee? oh wow because i had i had no idea what the, you know that there was a compilation i was living down south at the time mm-hmm. so i was just like damn i was like you know i was asking i asked mo d at a show i was like oh i was like what's the break it was god made me funky i was oh, like what's wow. the break that that rock him just rhymed on on stage and he was just like ask god made me funky he's like but if you want to know about breaks he's like ask easy lee and then he easily, I was talking to him, and he was like, look. And he went to his record crates, and he pulled out the wow. ultimate breaks and beats. And I was like, what That's the dope. hell is this? And I was like, wow. it's all on one record? Like, are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> Orange Joint. That's how I wrote, I wrote, I wrote down the, the, the label, the, the address, the phone number. I called up probably Lenny the next day. Probably. And, that's like, and that's what we were just talking that, you know, uh, we were discussing the situation about how the Jazzy Jeff do live in Union Square. Mm. And you know everybody's been you know, speculating right. that he used Volume Three, but I was with Jazz with Jeff uh, this last uh, uh, January and Nam, and he said, "Lou, there's no way on God's green earth I could have done that without that. You know, because right. the, the sound was proper. You didn't have to switch the levels. Yeah. Everything was on one record. And yeah. he was like, you know, there's nobody else. And then, believe it or not, out of that particular record was that Just Blaze started in- intriguing his mind about what Jazzy Jeff used. Went to Record City in Jersey and find a work it was and let, uh, it, let him into production. Nice. Which that's is kind of crazy. crazy. I mean, he told me that. I was like, I was Shout floored. Just yeah, yeah, just I mean, yeah, come on. That's the foundation. That series is the foundation for everyone getting into production. Yeah. Almost definitely. At least from, from our era. Oh, from, yeah, from, know, from the golden from era of hip-hop, yeah, for sure. sure. It, it, everything, you know, from Molly doing I mean, sampling. Yeah, I mean, King Magnetic just used keyboard stuff. Now, <laughs> nah, I got, I, I got the orange job, but yeah, I got the orange job. <laughs> copy. I bought it from him. You know, he's at a record store, right? <laughs> Which one? Yeah, underground set. Okay. It, it was the fat beast in Allentown, baby. All right. Well, I don't sleep, man. Right? <laughs> right right yeah. I mean, I had the honey drippers drawn off the orange drawn. Yeah, like, right. Come on, man. Yeah. Facts, nigga. Yeah, the don't try, don't the try to play me, B. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but so now, now in 2017, yes. um, what is this producer series that, that you are involved in here? Okay, what happened, like I was discussing earlier with my man over there, uh, we were saying mm-hmm. about, you know, how is it that we got these records to... You know, to put them in the original, it was easier back in days to get the master right. the licensing and mechanical. Nowadays, it's really hard. Yeah. So we did this guerrilla style. Uh, all, uh, with, uh, I got the idea from uh, Peanut Butter Wolf. He came to me. He was like, "Yo, you know, we should do like a, uh, just have some producers rock some beats." And right. And I was like, "You know, who's gonna do it?" You know, we t- we started inquiring. Yeah. So, uh, long story short, uh, Ono heard about it, and he goes, yo, I want to be done with that. Yeah. Go, those who don't know Ono, Ono is uh, a Mad producer, brother. and Mad mm-hmm. Lib's younger brother. Yeah. And then he goes, uh, he said, well, you know how many beats you're looking for? I said, you send me a couple so we right. can choose. Homeboy and send me 32 beats in two weeks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, I was, and then the thing was, I listened to this, and it's 32 beats, and I'm like, 
I can choose. I, I, we, only, yeah. we only can have a certain amount of time yeah. on the record. So it was a, a grueling two months period to choose wow. 17 tracks that we did on this. Mm. So now we have other people that are looking. Madlib wants to do yeah. a volume. I know we t- we're talking to Pete Rock. We talk Mo B wants to do nice. something. Uh, Premier has spoke to us, so he, you know, we we you know, that one will take that. about ten years yeah. to do. No, but, <laughs> yeah. but uh, all these guys, you know, in the in a sense, and then Blade, you know, just also right, scratch. Right. All these guys, they, you know, these are guys that are uh, a true, uh, sure, you know, uh, fans and 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 uh, guys that like hip hop and stuff. Yeah, of so course. To God, you know, do they that. just don't have the time. This is what you gotta do for them, okay? Mm-hmm. For those dudes, the the Premiers and the Just Blazers and Pete Rocks. Just give them one. Exactly. Pick one beat for them to do, and, and then you do good. one one version. Will this be with like with, with various, various, various. Exactly. There you No, go. but that was the initial concept yeah. until this guy okay. just went <laughs> ballistic, and I'm like, yo. And then his brother oh, said, no, was a beast. Then Madlib said, yo, he he's gonna be the odd done, so he wants to do a whole <laughs> album. Well too. And also, uh, for other people that I'm gonna rock, uh, Scoop Deville wants is, okay. is the next nice. thing online. So you know, we we have a little bit of everything East Side West That's Side. That's dope. That's dope. Uh, Focus also. Okay. Uh, DJ Khalil. Nice. So everybody wants to, you know, be a part of it. So it's going to be kind of dope. Yeah, All so. right. So if people want to find out more information on this, is there a central website or something? Oh, people you can go, go, to, go to Stone's Throw. It's on okay. Stone's Throw. And then also Fabby has it. Nice. Fabby has it. Also, it's on Amazon. Yeah. You know, and just, we're just rocking, man. I'm, you know, just getting into different aspects of, of the culture, man. Word up. So what we're talking about right now is the new edition, Ultra Breaks and Beats presents Oh No from the Producer Series Volume 1. It is uh, available right now. UBB Enterprises, the BX New York. There you go. That's how it is. That's how it is. For real, for real.